So once in a while, a truly revolutionary product comes along. And in this video, I'm going to show you what it is. Check out these designs. These are editable designs. And best of all, they're completely free. So in this video, I'm going to cover what this is, how it works, and how you can get access to this for free. Let's jump in. So this website is called Kittle, K-I-T-T-L. And what you can do with Kittle is you can select these templates. And then if you select use this design, it'll open up into a new project. And from here, you can simply click whatever you would like to change and you can type in your own text and you can make it larger, smaller, you can move it around. It's completely editable. It's an unbelievably easy to use app. And I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough on how this works. All right, so you're gonna start by clicking in the video description below. There's a link there. And when you click on the link, you're gonna sign up for Kittle. And they're gonna give you a three month subscription to their pro plan. And the pro plan looks like this. Basically, when you log in, you're gonna have this menu right in the middle. It says all logos, labels, t-shirts, posters, and cards. I'm just gonna leave it on all, but you could select something else like say labels, for example, and it will filter through different labels. I'm just gonna leave it on all though, and we'll just see all the different designs that are available. Now from here, I can click on any one of these designs if I'd like to create a project. So I'm gonna click this one here with the skull. It says t-shirts experimental. And it's going to show me a mock-up of what this looks like. I'm going to click use this design. So here's the actual design. And when I click on anywhere inside of it, for example, I'm going to click the USA. A little box pops up here on the right hand side. I can change the font, for example, simply by clicking it. Now the font's been changed. I'd need to monkey with the size. I can also click anywhere inside here and I can rotate. I can transform. I've got all sorts of interesting, really easy to use features. I can also simply click and move. So if I wanted to move this around, I can do that as well. Over on the left hand side, there's this designs text elements and I can click on this elements option and I can see now there's different shapes that are going to pop up. So what I could do is I could say, let's say I wanted this ornate circle. I simply click that. And now that pops into the design as well. I could move this around. There's project colors down on the right hand side. By clicking that, I can actually change the color. You can see the skull is now changing the color. I can now move this off to the side. I can monkey around here with the skull and I could make it completely black if I wanted. Or I could simply have it mimic any of the other document palette colors that I have. This is super intuitive to use. What I love about this is it's designed for beginners or even intermediate people that just don't have the time to master all the nuances of a site like Photoshop or Affinity Photo. Here's a little border I could put in here. I'm gonna stick that in the lower left hand corner and then I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna copy and then I'll just click outside of it. I'll right click and I'll paste. Now I've got two. From here I can rotate. I can put it up in the corner and then I could again copy and then paste and I can simply make my borders within seconds. I can even hit control C and control V and I can even make that with the shortcut keys. So now I've added a completely unique design. So within minutes, I could completely change this. I'm gonna change the text down at the bottom. I'm gonna put in my name here, Zen Water Cooler, click outside the box and we can see now it's there. I can make this larger if I wanted. I can move it around. There's all sorts of neat things that I can do here inside of this app. There's also a little layers button here too, and I can move the layers around. So if I wanted to move the Zen water cooler up to the top, I could do that. And now you'll see it sits over top of the borders that I've got in the corner. This thing is so easy to use, and there's so many different options. You can simply create from scratch. You can add to an existing one. The, the options really are limitless on this thing. Now, when it comes time to save this design, over on the right-hand side, there's a download button. And when I click the download button, it's going to ask me if I wanna save this in pixels, inches, or millimeters. I'm gonna select pixels, and I'm going to go up to, say, a Merch by Amazon size. I'm gonna say 5,400. Now, this is a square design, so I'm gonna leave it as 5,400 because it's locked in. 
but I could also click remove background and that'll take away the background. I could save it as a PNG file, a JPEG file, PDF, or an SVG. That's right, you can even save this as an SVG file, a vector file. This is an incredible option that a lot of high-end software just simply doesn't have. I think the ease of use means that Kittle is at the top of the game when it comes to online web apps, especially editable templates. It's built to make complex designing easy. Using Kittle, you can create like a pro. It works right in your browser. It's complete with fonts. It's got a full illustration library. All of these templates are already pre-made and there's so much more without the need for expensive software and hours to learn. This is really easy. So here's the best part. This is a completely free offer. There's absolutely no commitment. There's no credit card needed. So I have a link in the video description below. Simply click the link, you can sign up and you can try it for yourself. You get three free months of pro subscription. Again, completely free. I absolutely love this. I've been playing in it for hours. You simply select, click the design, and if you don't like it, you can simply abandon ship and move on to the next great looking design, and you can travel wherever your artistic heart desires. I hope you found this video helpful. I'd love to hear your comments on how you like this app and what features you like the best. Feel free to drop me a line in the comments, and thanks a lot for watching, everybody.